yeah today our lecture deals with arrays now before starting off with arrays let us briefly see some of the concepts of casting for in case of data types now as we we have seen the different data types that we have in java we have white increases towards short then towards int then towards long so this is the direction in which we have increase in size of the data type so long has the biggest size 64 bits int 32 then we have short 16 byte we have 8 bits so so this is the the reverse is the order in which we can assign data types for example in case we have a long variable we can assign a to a now what we have done essentially is that a is the variable of data type long whereas a a is a variable of data type int which is smaller in size than long so we can assign a a to a so what we have essentially done is this is the order in which we can assign the values byte can be allotted to a short short can be allotted to a int int can be allotted to a long and anybody else also byte can be allotted to int byte can be allotted to a long however the reverse let us see what happens when the reverse allotment is done now in case we allot a long to an int so this is a long value this is allotted to an int now because int is 32 bits and long is 64 this means the 32 bits from the long have to be removed to get this data type so that 32 bits that we remove may carry some data so there is a chance of a data loss so which we which we don't want intentionally to happen so what we have to do here is an explicit cast an explicit explicit cast to int so what this has done is that we are specifying that we want to reduce the type of this a from long to int and then assign this to the int variable a a so in this case it because of this explicit cast we are aware that there might be a data loss and our program is fully you know prepared to take such a data loss so in the reverse order in case we assign a long to a byte or we assign a long to an int or a long to a short we have to explicitly mention the cast into which we are casting this higher data type to a lower data type so the second important point in this case is i'll just remove this the tall calculations that we do they cannot be done below a int scale so i'll just take a byte give it initial value 4 take another byte give it initial value say 4 and we compute an addition of these two variables to give a result in byte now even though the addition of a plus b gives us a value of 8 which is well below the highest value that can be assigned to a byte yet there is an error and the error is that it cannot convert an int to a byte now, what exactly happens here is the a is converted from byte to int which we call as automatic cast as it is an upcast because byte is smaller in size than an int so you can always cast a byte to a int similarly the system has cast b from byte to int so this becomes int plus int so the net result comes to be an int but because we are storing this result in a byte so system is not able to you know downgrade the int to a byte so this calculation it is able to do 
in the int scale because it is able to promote a from byte to int b from byte to int but the result it is not able to store in a byte variable because it is not able to downcast the result from int to byte so for that we have to downcast the result by an explicit cast from sorry int to byte and that should do it so the error has now gone now what is happening is a promoted to an int b promotes to an int the result becomes an int but since we are storing this result into a byte we have explicitly mentioned the cast to be done from an int to a byte and this is how the program simplifies and compiles then we can run and see the output So we'll just run this. The output comes out to be as expected 8. However, in the absence of any casting, the system shows an error because when it does any calculation, it promotes every variable to a minimum int in case it is smaller than an int and the result shall always come as an int. So we'll just move forward to the array part now. Now, as we had already done variables where every variable stores a single value, now in case of arrays, now every variable now stores a number of similar values. Similar values mean, now let us just see the declaration part. Now, how do we declare a one dimensional array in Java? So, we'll just take the type, name it give the dimension new int and then we give the size of the array so this is a static declaration for an array so where int is the type 